So, in my exploration of the country and um, in the city of Richmond and studying all the different neighborhoods, I find a lot of people in Plato's Cave, whether you're really wealthy and you believe a certain thing or you're so very poor and that's something that you believe. So in transcendence, transcendence, I can't say word, I'm not that smart. I just can't, I don't know, my brain won't allow it. Um, connecting all the children in a Glee concert, Jason Mraz, what we have here is discombobulation of our state governments on how to fix this, the, the welfare state and the prison state. And what I have examined is it starts in childhood and we have to educate the parents on ways to have successful children in the society that we're bringing along. You know, parents can, instead of being negative reinforcement, they can learn positive reinforcement. Uh, only use negative if it's a last resort. There are consequences to your actions, obviously. Like my granddaughter today, she touched the gilded frame of a painting in the VMFA, and I'm surprised a guard wasn't on us. And I was like, Calista, you can't touch these. They, it's really against the rules. And then I looked down and she does it again. And that time, that was the second time, and I made it very obvious. I said, they will come and escort us out of here if you're touching the art. That's not a joke. That applies to everyone. That's a maxim. Unless you have conservator gloves, gloves on, you work for the museum. But she listened the third time. She likes to challenge authority. I meet so many people that I suggest, like Glenn at Magnolia Gardens, a lady in segregation said, we need activities for our kids. And whether or not she knows what those activities are because she's never participated, she's a smart lady and knows how to fix this situation. But when I talk to people, they don't feel like they have a grip on government or what government is supposed to be doing for us as citizens and where it's going to go. you got to think out of the box a little bit for the future, but you need to jump those hurdles in taking care of our children so they have a bright future and they don't depend on welfare and they don't go to prison because they're enjoying snowboarding. They, they like snowboarding. They, you know, I'm going to Colorado, Dad. Like my son, he's like, I like snowboarding. I think I'm 20. I'm going to go to Colorado because I want to smoke weed and snowboard. But that's what you got. It's better to have him smoking weed and snowboarding learning how to be a linesman than it is for him to be in prison. Thank you.